Hey there, my friends. It's Angela, the Inquisitive Farm Wife, and I'm your host for Freeze Dry February 23. I hope you've been going in and watching all the fantastic videos, and there's still lots more to come. You want to win a medium sized freeze dryer? Stick around. I'm going to tell you more at the end of the video. For now, let's get started working on our eggs. I have here some water and my freeze dried eggs. I'm going to make an egg scramble, which later I'm going to turn into a breakfast burrito. So one egg equals two tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of egg powder. What you'll want to do is go ahead and take some warm water and let the egg powder reconstitute for just a few minutes. You'll see I'm gonna stir it in here and I'll show you what it looks like after it's had a minute to just kind of come back together. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir and make sure everything has some moisture on it and let it sit and we'll come back. And here it is. So it really impressed me how it takes on that scrambled texture all over again. It's kind of, you know, slimy like eggs are. And now I'm just going to start grabbing some of my freeze dried veggies. Today I decided that I wanted to take some tomatoes and onions and peppers and put them in my egg scramble. But you know, you could use just about any kind of vegetable that you like to do. I can imagine that broccoli might taste good in this. Um, what veggies do you like to put in your burrito, breakfast burritos? What do you like to put in your egg scrambles? Tell me down below. I'd love to hear what different things that you all like to use. So I went ahead and I decided to just leave the onions the way they were. I had chopped them at a good size, but the tomatoes were a little bit big for me for um, putting in my eggs. They're good for putting in soups and stews, but it was just so easy to just break them apart into smaller pieces that I wanted in my egg mixture. And so next I want to go ahead and add some peppers. I do like the green peppers, but I can imagine green onions and maybe jalapenos. I want to make sure to not accidentally get that oxygen absorber in there. Or actually, that is a desiccant for moisture. You don't need an oxygen absorber if you seal your jar lids with um, the vacuum sealer, which I had. And again, I just want to put them into smaller pieces. I had cut these for the perfect size for like goulash. We like goulash here and we like big chunks of veggies in there. So it's really simple with the freeze dried veggies. You don't have to cut them in multiple sizes. You can actually just start big like this and break them apart or cut them into smaller pieces if you want for that particular recipe. And that's it for my veggies. So I'm just going to take some warm water and put on top and let this soak for just a little bit so it can reconstitute before I put it into the frying pan. I'm actually going to show you in real time that it doesn't take very long. I met literally a matter of seconds. I grabbed a spoon. I'm going to stir it. It is already starting to reconstitute. And you can see that if I just kind of pull it off to the side, that these vegetables are ready. So literally in real time, you get to see how quickly you can reconstitute these. Off to the frying pan we go. I have probably a little too much oil in there, but I'm just going to take my veggies and pull them out of the water and get them to, I'm going to, heat them up and fry them up just a little bit. Are you one of those people who like your veggies pre-cooked before you put in your eggs or do you put them in nice and crispy? Oh yeah, I wanted to put a little meat in there and so I had a little, it was either chicken or turkey lunch meat that I chopped up and there are our eggs, our scrambled eggs. I think these were, was a goose egg. Goose eggs are my favorite breakfast egg and you can see that it's just like a regular egg how it cooks up and I was very very impressed with this here we go almost breakfast time I have some 
regular flour tortillas. They are not freeze dried. So I guess you could say we're making an egg scramble, but I wanted breakfast burritos this morning for Luke and I. And so here is my eggs. I'm just putting them onto some whole wheat flour tortillas that I had here at the house. And I just kind of divided that up between the four tortillas. No measurements here in this farmhouse. We just kind of wing it when it comes to mealtime. And what is a breakfast burrito if you don't add cheese to it? Again, this is not freeze-dried. I have not actually freeze-dried cheese yet. That is something on my list of things that I want to do and try. So today we're just adding some fresh cheese in there. But maybe in the future I will get to share a video about that with you. So they've got them just simply wrapped up and I do doctor mine up a little bit. I like to add salsa and sour cream either on the top or on the side. But today I put it on the side because I didn't know what Buddy Luke might want with his. How do you top your breakfast burritos? What do you like to dip yours in? Or are you a no dip fan and you put it inside your burrito? Let me know. I'm curious. And just in case you are curious on to whether or not these tasted okay, they are Buddy Luke approved. I hope that if you give this a try, and if you do have freeze-dried foods and you do it, let me know. Okay, here we are at the end of the video. All the details about freeze-dry February 23. Down below in the show notes, you will see there is a playlist. Go check out all those wonderful channels all those videos and every day there is going to be a new video with new content for you and we are going to have a live stream giveaway every single Fe friday freeze dry friday for the month of february so don't miss out come back to my channel at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time every Friday. I'll be giving away lots of things. And then on March 3rd is the big grand prize party. Don't want to miss that one. I have things from uh, several companies that are supporting us, like Four Jars. Every week they're giving away lids. We have Brian at Live Life Simple who has some brand new products he's donating. And we're also going to give away a medium-sized Harvest Right freeze dryer. So guys, to enter to win, you leave one heartfelt comment on each video, and that gets you an entry in each week, including the grand prize giveaway. So get off here and get over there and start watching these videos. One last thing I feel I really should mention is that if you go ahead and get yourself a freeze dryer now and you win, at the end of this collaboration, Harvest Right will give you your money back. That's right. So if you want more information, go down below. I have a link that you can follow. And if you choose to use that link, let me know if you make a purchase because I want to send you something. All right, friends, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good day.